Let's get it in the glass, let it looks like, smells like, tastes like, and give you the final verdict on the Miller Fortune from Miller. What do you actually Final verdict. So the aroma on the Miller Fortune. <laughs> I might do that. It's a vintage shirt. We got a watch. from Hobbsing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. We've got something a little bit different this time. Um, Stuart has chosen to bring us a can of Miller Fortune. And they call it a spirit of golden lager at 6.9% ABV. In the UK we would call this a uh, tram brew maybe. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't know if that's what the intention is brewing. I'm sure Stuart's going to tell us a bit more about it, but let's get this into a glass. I think it's quite a nice looking can actually. Yeah, it is. But it's it quite a lot of effort. Like, is it a bit? Does it look a bit like an energy drink to a point? Oh yeah, you were you were saying. No, 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 no this would be it. Uh, oh, it's yeah, yeah. Full yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, something <laughs> later. <laughs> Dear God. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Can you see the quivering on Rob's hand there? <laughs> now no, this is. I don't want to spill this beautiful, beautiful yeah, beer. Not a single drop. Now this is a uh, malt liquor in America, um, and there's a lot of malt liquor beer channels out there. Uh, they do like chug and they wear like string vests and lift weights. We are in Yorkshire. We should all be wearing string vests. <laughs> we should moment. be, especially um, this beautiful. I shout out to David Darwin, uh, who did a lot of malt liquor beer reviews back in the day. Yeah, sure, you did quite a um, yeah, fond memories of your malt liquor. Is, uh, is it a sort of beer that you'll chug with? <laughs> now, you're supposed to use a rock glass, uh, but Red Beer say you use a paper bag. <laughs> I think that's just oh, to, yeah. to, um, <laughs> to save <laughs> your embarrassment. Now it's oh, amber orange, um, but yeah. Very, very clear, as you'd expect, as you I guess. guess. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to taste like a lot of the Polish strong lagers. Excuse me. Otherwise known as a, mo a Mokne beer. Yep. It's alright, carry on. I'm just <laughs> messing around. I'm back in. There we go. <laughs> Definitely get... Pop, uh, oh wow, it smells kind of... Um, it smells like... Varnish, sort of polished pine. There's definitely something else there. Uh, it smells like it smells super like strength, it smells like all them. It's, it's a lot of grain and alcohol. I mean, it, a lot of, if you get like kitschy, Alabama. crappy Belgian yeah. beer, it smells like that. It smells like a lot of beers that I tried in Jimmy beer. Yeah. We had a, it smells uh, like a lot of beer. <laughs> beer. I mean, a lot of traditional yeah. uh, British beer. Yeah. We had a beer from yeah, the Toxic Coast. They put the a lot of effort into this can because the, the, the design on the font and you, you work in uh, art and stuff like that, don't you? Oh, I'm art and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it smells kind of spritzy almost. I, I like just love the design on the can. Like so, yeah. So, the aroma on the Miller uh, Fortune. Um, I'm going to say uh, it's quite metallic. It's yeah, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 a lot of really kind of like, it's it's lots of though. sweet kind of grain. There's a lot of sweet sort of sweetness. Like, it's just sweet on the nose. Like, I suppose in a. One of those originals, almost like what you use, uh, an IPA smells like, one of those originals. So, shall we dive in? Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Good luck to you all. Good health. <laughs> so the flavour on the um, Miller Fortune. Yeah, yeah, Ed very Cots. quickly. Uh, Ed Cots, uh, one of those originals. Yeah, yeah, with this, yeah, I'm getting well, that, top, yeah. that sort of to toffee sort of But you get that, as you say, it does disappear in those quick It's diminished, yeah. Oh, the lagers tend to do that a yeah. lot though for me, I don't know, I mean, they, they tend to be a very short, sort of sharp finish almost, and, and I guess that's why people drink so much of them, because it doesn't leave you with it much flavour. No. Um, but I mean, that. to be fair though, that's not the worst lager I've ever no. had. It's well, not yeah, at all. We've all had worse ones. But, it's not bad. I mean, at least it's got some flavour. Sweet, I'm gritty, really warm. Yeah, yeah, very sweet. Said, bread. Apricot, mm. um, but not in like a, a nice kind of maybe like dried apricots. It's got a dried, dried apricots. Definitely dried. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ones that you get at Christmas mixed. But yeah, Worms originals. Yeah. Tastes a little bit like of pe uh, Terry Kaycals and pedo toffees. <laughs> 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 Ignore, ignore. That's, that's, <laughs> we don't want those that's kind a, of words on that. That's a quote. Yeah. 